Hi everybody, welcome back! Sipsopolis, we're back! Sorry for the delay, I know it's been about a week since the last episode. This is the final episode of the series. I don't know if you saw my vlog, I mentioned that uh, we'd be wrapping this up pretty soon. And today is the day, today is the day that we wrap up Sipsopolis, but we're not going to wrap it up until we've done everything that we set out to do in the first place. So, this episode is probably going to be a little bit different to what you're normally used to. Uh, normally, I don't really cut anything out of these recording sessions uh, or these episodes so that I can show you as much of the gameplay as possible. I think after 37 episodes, you've seen all there is to see of the gameplay in this game. Uh, we've looked at a lot of the features of SimCity Cities of Tomorrow. It's pretty. It's a. It's a pretty good expansion. I gotta say, it's actually not too bad. I mean, it doesn't come without problems. There's definitely some problems, like uh, the mega towers, and uh, you know, traffic in general and stuff like that. But overall, it's been pretty good. So uh, today we are going to um, finish off the mega tower, at the uh, the Uncle Phil Memorial Mega Tower. We're gonna build some more landmarks. We're gonna get a fucking stadium so we can have a Bon Jovi concert. And uh, just generally try to fix things up or whatever. You'll probably notice that a lot of stuff will be cut out of this. Uh, you'll probably notice that this episode will have a lot more progress than <laughs> what you're normally used to. Uh, and I think that's a, a really good way of just wrapping up the series uh, and saying goodbye to Sipsopolis. Uh, goodbye to Nutbush City over there in the distance. Uh, and, uh, and, and generally just, like I said, wrapping it up and moving on to bigger and hopefully better things. Great, let's get to it. One thing uh, that I did do uh, a couple episodes ago, which I didn't mean to do, uh, is place a second college. Uh, we've got, <laughs> somehow, I mean, uh, it, it's it's just one of those things that happens. I mean, it can happen to anybody. Anyway, we've got this big-ass college over here. Let's call this one the Shelbyville College. And of course, we have the Springfield College over here, causing a lot of problems or whatever. I mean. It costs 500 bucks an hour. 500 bucks an hour that could be used elsewhere. So we're going to shut this one down. We're going to shut down the Springfield College. Leave the Shelbyville one open because it's uh, it's bigger. Uh, and, and finally put to bed this war, this big turf war that's been happening between these two educational facilities. I mean... This is like no man's land in the middle here, even though it's like probably, arguably the nicest part of the city. Um, many bodies have been laid down to rest in this area because of this never-ending feud between these two schools. Uh, and it was never meant to be because, unfortunately, um, I just didn't realize that this was here after all that time. And uh, it should have been knocked down, actually. Or... Actually, this one should have been expanded, and this one never placed. However you want to look at it, this one's fucking going. So here we go. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll do it! Not enough freight shipments on this one? Uh, you can go to hell. You can go straight down into hell. Look at that. It's collapsed down through the earth into hell, uh, just as I wanted it to. Uh, we are currently boosting up our money. We have 851 per hour coming in. We have 120,000 people living here, and we have 550,925 in the bank, which means that we can place uh, a tourist attraction. We have enough to place uh, the one and only, and I think we're going to do it. Look at this. Oh, shit, we don't even have enough. It only costs 450 bucks an hour to maintain the entire Empire State Building, if you could believe that. I mean, I don't know about you, uh, but I would gladly pay that to have such a fantastic building in my city. Uh, and we can maybe just place it, like, down here somewhere. Actually, let's find a place for it right now. We want the Empire State Building to... Uh, be in this area. We're gonna have a train station down here, too We're gonna get all of our tourisms in one spot So they don't have to go very far to get to some of these places like such as the Dutch windmill Which is just over here. Look at that. Look at how much fucking money the Dutch windmill makes every day It's crazy 48,000. I can't wait to see how much the Empire State Building is gonna make fucking crazy uh, Which we have enough for now. We have enough for it right now. Let's place it. That's not the Empire State Building. There it is. 575,000 big ones. Can you believe it? And look at the frickin' size of this thing. Look at how big it is. It's not actually that big, surprisingly. I thought it would be much bigger, but I guess it's sort of dwarfed by these mega towers. Uh, we can have it sort of along here, I guess. I think we're gonna place it like right here. I think this is a great spot for the Empire State Building. 
There we go. Look at how happy everybody is. Uh, we now have the one and only Empire State Building. And we still have 86... Well, sorry, uh, correction. We still have 90,000 bucks left over uh, from that big spend, which means that we can probably get a train station place down here somewhere as well uh, and to try to alleviate some of this traffic. This traffic is really bad. We need more maglevs as well, I think. I think some more maglevs would definitely uh, help us a little bit here. Uh, we have 4,838 maglev riders per day, uh, which is nice. We're, look at this. We're going to have a maglev station right outside the Empire State Building. Holy shit. Can you believe it? Uh, this is probably going to cost a goddamn fortune, and, uh, well, we don't really want to... We want to sort of, like, not knock down all of these buildings if we can. Perfecto. Great. Okay, we have a new maglev station. Education, complaining about something, and that's because, um, not everybody can enroll at the, uh, college, I guess. Uh, we'll probably need to make another ring. Look at how much fucking money we're making right now. 8,521 per hour. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Holy crap. That is fa that's fantastic. That is utterly fantastic. Uh, let us have another extension wing uh, for the college. 12,000 bucks, 375 per hour. Interestingly, uh, v very close to the amount that it costs to run the Empire State Building on an hourly basis. I fucking believe that. All right. Uh, before we place our new train station, I think we're gonna need a water pumping station down here uh, somewhere. Uh, oh god, this wave power plant is so fucking cool. Can I, that is just the fucking coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I love that. I would not want to be anywhere near these things in real life, obviously. I mean, that goes without saying, because those things are spinning pretty fast. I mean, if you were out here and you rented a jet ski for like a couple of uh, hours or something, and you accidentally plowed into one of these, and this one of these turbines sucked you under and started spinning you around, well, I would say in that case that your goose would be well and truly cooked. However, uh, it probably... Wow. Fucking look at this view. Can you believe this view? Holy shit. God, Uncle Phil is really smiling down on us right now. He just thinks that we are the best in the West and also in the East. Pro possibly the Northern and Southern Hemispheres as well, too. Um, okay, we need to find a spot. Uh, we need to find a, a suitable spot. It's going to be down here. Our suitable spot for water pumping station is going to be down here. We're going to have to do a little bit of reconstructive surgery on this area of town. Uh, we're gonna have to knock down a couple of buildings. I'm sorry. Very sorry, but this is the place to set up a water pumping station. Okay, uh, let's get this water pumping station up and running so that we can get rid of this deficit. Uh, it's probably stopping some places from growing uh, because it's so bad. Uh, let us place, uh, it here on the straight part. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need too many of these things. Uh, we'll let it open up. Uh, when I say things, I mean cylinders. Look at that already. We're in excess. We don't even really need to add that anymore. We can get rid of some of these little ones now. Save a bit of money. Like, let's get rid of this one. I'll do it. Great. Good job. Uh, Phil Donahue as well is, uh, sort of going through the city and, uh, kicking out the riffraff with his, uh, with his Midas touch. He uses his Midas touch to, uh, to touch buildings and, and kick people out sort of like explodes the building it's all like a superpower he has uh, and all the people move out and then uh, are replaced promptly by a bunch of rich people that's what we want uh, so that's why we have Phil Donahue we need to figure out how the heck we're gonna get the train tracks from here over into this area it's gonna be a bit of a tricky one I think but we may be able to do it let's see Okay, trains, uh, tr heavy tracks. Can we raise these? Ha, huh, you can. You can fucking raise the train tracks. Can you believe that? Look at that! It's like a roller coaster! <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, we'll continue on. Oh, look at this. What is it doing? What are you, what are you even thinking right now, SimCity? How could you? I think this is like too close. Oh! Oh! Can we do it without knocking down the big building? Oh, does it even matter? I mean, this is all we want. This is all we've ever wanted. 
We want it to go like that. And then come down. And then, oh yeah, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna actually have it come down like here. Whoa, look, even better. Oh, look at those people decided to move out. We didn't even need to knock the shit down. All right, here you go. Okay, we knocked down a couple of buildings, but it's fine. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a true roller coaster ride through the entire bottom part of the city uh, just to get into here. Uh, but I think this is going to be quite the spot for the old, uh, whatchamacallit. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get our train station in there. We have so much money right now. It's insane. It's very nice. And we can hook this up uh, to this road here, right next to the bus station. Great. Oh, God, that is fantastic. Um, and maybe even just do one of these two. Why the heck not? Look, we have a really good uh, connection there now. Uh, we can place some, wow, look at that. We need a bit of commercial, so we can get some commercial in here. Uh, some nice hotels and stuff. I'm sure uh, commercial businesses will benefit greatly from being so close to all the mass transit options in the city. Look at that. That's pretty nice, actually. It's like, uh, it's a nice little area down here. We've got the ferry terminal, and we've got the bus terminal, and we've got the passenger train station. Uh, we've also got a water pumping station, and, uh, and the projects as well. We've got the projects and our wave power plant. Okay, great. This is like a really functional sort of utility sort of part of the city. Let's get some more commercial in here. If it'll build. Great. Uh, and uh, let's see. I think they're complaining about... Is there fires? Ah, oh, shit, no. It's going to be another one of those big... Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, great. How is the Empire State Building doing? These tourists are great for sales. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at how much fucking money we're making. It's unbelievable. 124644 a day. The Empire State Building, everybody. Um, I think we've got enough for uh, another, another um, thing. Another tourist attraction. I think we can only have three. Uh, we've reached our limit for Dutch windmills and Empire State Buildings uh, in here. Attractions, stadiums, uh, we can make a stadium fairly soon as well. It looks like... Wow, that scared the shit out of me. I mean, in a major way. I think I just... I, I think I just crap my pants. I, th I think I've got to go to... I'll be back in a minute. Stockholm City Hall, no, medium, medium. Hi! A Statue of Liberty. Should uh, We're going for like a bit of an American theme here. I mean, well, I say that. We have the Dutch windmill, but we also have the Empire State Building. And placing the Statue of Liberty will mean that we have two American uh, historical and uh, tourist landmarks and only one Dutch. The Dutch will feel a bit left out, I'm sorry, but I think that this is probably the best one. High tourist attraction and it's quite small. That's medium. That's medium. Oh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Uh, high tourist attraction. It's only 280,000 as well. And look, it's not too big. All right, Leaning Tower of Pisa will go right here so that people uh, can sort of go by on the maglev uh, and enjoy the ever-loving shit out of it. Oh, look at that. We are completely maxed out. We have as many tourist attractions as we can have. Uh, we can also um, build that tourism crown on top of here and boost our tourism to the region. Uh, we are cruising along. We are making uh, just, well, we were. It's dropping down now, I guess, because, um, you know, the tourist attractions close at night or whatever. They should stay open all the time. All right, uh, here we go. 300,000 bucks and 5,000 an hour for an elite tourism crown. This exciting tourist destination attracts tourists to your city to visit the top of your mega tower or earn profits from tourists that visit the crown. Fine, we're gonna do it. We're gonna place this thing. It doesn't cost a lot. Uh, well, it does, but we've got the money. Uh, and there it goes. Look at that, all connected up by Skybridge. Uh, you can see the majestic Empire State Building in the background there. Pretty fantastic stuff. Uh, our profits, hourly profits, have taken a bit of a dump, but they're back up on the rise. Uh, and uh, they're going to take another massive dump in a minute once this thing is built, uh, because it costs a lot to maintain. But we should make a lot of money off tourism. 
Holy crap. Uh, Sipsopolis has become the tourist destination of the nation. It, it, it's pretty incredible, actually, to think that, like, you know, a couple episodes ago, I thought we were going to lose. Uh, and now we're up and running in a major way. Uh, there we go. Our hourly profits have just taken a dump. But we have what looks like the ultimate stage for Bon Jovi. Look at that. He can get up there on his own, wail away on his axe, do uh, some ripping, rocking riffs and hot licks on his, uh, on his guitar. Uh, for everybody. Everybody can enjoy it. And look, it's just, just him up there. See? There he is. What's he doing up there? Hey, Bon Jovi. Oh, no. No, everybody is coming up here just to have a, have a nice look around. Look at that. Tape Crinity. So happy now that the Tourism Crown bonus has been applied to the whole region. We're doing good. We are doing good. Our city is, like, super futuristic looking, uh, thanks to maglevs all over the goddamn place. Uh, how are those things doing anyway? I'm always interested to know how the maglevs... Oh, look at that. Riders uh, on the maglevs are going up. Look at that. We've nearly doubled since we started, uh, which means that we can probably do with placing some more of these maglev stations in and around the city, uh, in some of the hotter spots around the city. Uh, okay, I've placed uh, a whole bunch of those, and uh, we've taken a little bit of a dip into the red. It's not to worry. Uh, let us connect this up to the network, to the maglev uh, network. Uh, we're going to connect this up here. This can go over. These buildings will not be able to build up now uh, because there's a maglev track in the way. That's okay, though. Uh, that's absolutely fine. And we're going to connect it up here, too. Look at that. There's two ways into this little maglev area, which is nice. Uh, we'll connect this one up uh, on this sort of angle like that. Great, uh, and let's also have this go, like, can it go? Oh, it can't quite go over the school. Yeah, it can. It can go right through the school. That is so cool. So now when you're learning uh, stats and all those other boring subjects in school, you can look up out the window into the sky and see a majestic maglev roaring by and people on board screaming because it'll no doubt be on fire um, and people will be panicking uh, because all of our maglev drivers in this city are a bunch of busters. Great. Uh, hopefully that'll relieve some of the congestion. God, there's way too much congestion. Uh, let's also make sure that we have uh, buses doing their jobs. Yeah, look at that. Look at the buses are well and truly doing their jobs. We could do with having a few more stops just to make sure that coverage is right up. We want to get one outside of the Leaning Tower of Pisa as well, just in case uh, anybody would like to go to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I'm just going to put these everywhere so that we have maximum coverage, just in case there's any uh, spots that don't have the required coverage. Uh, wow, we are making 18547 an hour. And there's 627,986 in the bank. Uh, Sipsopolis at this point is pretty much unstoppable. We need to sort out these police and fire stations now. And uh, also, what the heck is going on with this dump? What the hell dump? Bam! Great. We'll let that, we'll let some people uh, finally start to come in and work at this fire station. Hopefully it'll open soon and then we can pimp it out in a major way. What do we want? Uh, we definitely want a sign for our new fire station. We definitely want a fire station flagpole for our new fire station. We could probably also do with having a fire dispatch tower up here, which looks pretty, pretty swish. Let's get a couple of more garages too. Look at this. Three fire truck garages. Uh, and what's this? A fire marshal office suppresses the risk of fire within your city for 20,000 bucks and 500 bucks an hour. I've always wanted to have a fire marshal in my city, uh, and I feel like now is the time to have a fire marshal across the road from the fire station. Great. Okay. We've got it. How's this train station doing? Whoa! 20,600 passengers on the train lines every single day. That's fucking crazy. Buses, we have 25,224 per day and 9,799 tourist riders, if you can believe that. Ferry terminal, uh, 7,341 tourist riders, wow, and only 586 tourist riders, uh, sorry, residential riders. 
That's fucking crazy. And what about maglevs? How, how are the maglevs doing? 11,212 with an 18 minute average weight. That's not bad. Uh, we've, we've, we've somewhat turned around the whole maglev situation and actually it's probably worth what it costs to maintain the network now. Fucking great. Holy shit. Can you believe it? My god. All right. Let us think about having a new police station. Let's put the big one down here somewhere. We're gonna place this uh, huge police precinct, maybe like around here somewhere. Maybe like here? Is that gonna be a good, like an okay spot? Like right here, knock down this, uh, this residential building? I think so. We're gonna place it right here. Great, police coverage for neighbors available. They're not getting any of this police coverage. This is all for Sipsopolis, definitely. Uh, what do we need? We have 50 jail cells that comes with this big son of a bitch. Uh, police precinct sign. Great. We will place it. Uh, we have a police dispatch tower. Fucking fantastic. Let's place it. Uh, patrol car lots. 15,000 and 600 bucks an hour. Wow. It's very expensive to have. Let's have two lots for the patrol cars. I mean, we just have so much money now. It's crazy. And let's have uh, an addition of... Uh, jail cells. These things cost 22000 to place in 700 an hour. We should have, yeah, we've got uh, room for 120 criminals in this thing. Uh, we're not going to run out of space in that for some time, I don't think. Uh, so that's good. Great. And we'll keep the small one too, because uh, it's worth having the police coverage, especially in a big touristy town. Uh, too much sewage, apparently. Uh, fine. So just rotten hell, all of you. Well, or none of you, since it's an abandoned building. <laughs> uh, off it goes. Oh, look at this. Look at Sipsopolis at night. Look, there's like some sort of like fantastic laser light show happening on top of the Uncle Phil Memorial Mega Tower. He's up in heaven right now looking down and he's, he's winking. He's doing like a wink to say, Good fucking job down there, Phil Donahue and uh, Dr. Phil. You guys really did it. You packed them in. You packed them in the right way. You got all of the landmarks up. You're, you're packing in the tourism every day, all day. You're nearing a million bucks in the bank, if you can believe that. You're making 8,096 big ones per hour, and there's still 117,729 sons of bitches living in Sipsopolis. I'm so proud. And he is. He's really proud. So am I. Look at this. Holy shit. This is fantastic. Um, I've never used this thing before. Whee! Let us uh, start thinking about making a spot for an expo center so that we can finally, at long last, have one Bon Jovi concert. The people of Sipsopolis have been waiting patiently for Bon Jovi to arrive and it's it's happening. It's gonna happen. It's inevitable now. It's it, it's we're close. I mean, we are close. How big is this goddamn thing again? I can't even remember. Culture, uh, stadiums. We can get the big one. We can get the pro stadium, which has a maximum attendance of fifteen thousand. I don't think we'd have any problems packing a, a pro stadium. So let's get a pro stadium. We're gonna go for pro stadium. Uh, we have to find a suitable location for this pro stadium to live. Uh, it won't quite fit there without a little bit of extra work around the rail. There we go. Exactly where we wanted it in the first place. The pro stadium is down. Fantastic. And we can get rid of this little knobbly road that's... Oh, shit. No, it's not going to let me. Oh, look at that. That little knobbly road has to stay there for some fucking reason. Don't don't even ask me. I'm too mad to uh, answer the question. Okay, let's uh, have this sort of come down like this, and uh, then it can go around the back. It's going to come around the back of the pro stadium uh, so that the people on the train can listen to uh, Bon Jovi, of course, uh, as they're uh, going by coming into the city. So if you're one of the lucky people coming from outside of the city into Sipsopolis, you'll be able to hear Bon Jovi warming up um, before the big show. 
Fucking great, eh? Holy shit. How are we doing here? Pro Stadium finally has people working at it. Holy shit. Okay, it's the morning. Let's schedule an event. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go for Legends of Rock. <laughs> here we go. Bon Jovi is coming to town at long last. Oh, the people of Sipsopolis. They have waited and they have waited and waited and waited and, and waited even more. And now the time has come. Uh, there should be people starting to turn up here fairly soon. Man, we are going to make a lot of freaking money off this Bon Jovi concert if as many people as I think uh, are going to turn up to it. Are people starting to pack in? No? We're watching. We're on uh, Pro Stadium Watch now. We want to make sure that uh, everybody can make it to the Pro Stadium. Uh, I think we're going to have to add a bus stop outside the Pro Stadium too. We need uh, to make sure that we have bus coverage. We also need to make sure... Oh, look, people are. Look at the attendance. 763 people. It's climbing. Let's add this huge Pro Stadium sign uh, to the Pro Stadium too. Where, is this? Where can this go? Uh, it can go across the road, like here. Knock down another factory. Great. We now have a pro stadium sign. Oh, look. Oh, it's so fucking cool. I love it. I love the pro stadium. How's it doing? People are turning up. Look at this. Uh, our current payout is in the minuses, but there are a lot of people trying to ram themselves into the pro stadium right now. It's only uh, just gone 12.30 p.m., uh, bon Jovi's first concert in Sipsopolis starts at 8 p.m. sharp, and uh, they're they're rehearsing now. Uh, you can hear it. You can hear the guitar riffs playing across the city. Everybody's getting very excited. Look at all the traffic. Holy shit! Everybody is just at the same time crapping their pants, and uh, it shows. Look at. We're overwhelmed. The sewage processing plant is overwhelmed because everybody at the same time has taken a shit because they're so excited and happy that Bon Jovi is finally uh, actually going to probably play a profitable... Oh my fucking god, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. The first night of many nights of Bon Jovi in Sipsopolis, we've made phew, already over 50, 60, 63, 82, 83, 84, 80, and climbing. We're... Can we make a hundred? Can can we get to a hundred? Can we make a hundred? We we made it. We've got over a hundred. There's over a hundred. Uh, can we get to a hundred and thirty? Can we get to one thirty? We're getting there. One ten. We just got to one ten. We still have two and a half hours. Come on. One sixteen. One seventeen. Wow. Look at the attendance. Holy shit. Oh my god. We're gonna get one thirty. I think we're actually going to get 130,000 plus on our first ever Bon Jovi concert in Sipsopolis. Hala fucking do yeah, look at that. My god. We did it. People are mad. There's sickness in the Bon Jovi concert. Well, I'm not surprised. The excitement levels are pretty high. There will be a lot of sick people uh, at the Bon Jovi concert. Holy shit, we fucking did it. I cannot believe that we fucking did it. We have turned Sipsopolis into the tourist destination uh, of, of the nation. <laughs> but I don't even know what that means. But it seems that a lot of people are willing to come to our fair city uh, and splash around a lot of cash. Go into the Empire State Building, go into the Dutch Windmill, go into the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and, of course, turning up uh, to a Bon Jovi concert, which is nearly sold out. I mean, really close to selling out. And has probably made us 210280 bucks on its first night. Well, I, I cannot be happier. I mean, holy shit. That is f utterly phenomenal. Well, there you go. We did it. We, we, we finally did it. All goals achieved. We got the police precinct. We got the fire, the big fire station. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we've built more or less all of the cities of tomorrow buildings. Our city is looking very futuristic. The Tom Clark Memorial Mega Tower, profitable. The Uncle Phil Memorial Mega Tower, 
profitable. Uh, we're, uh, we are just making an astounding amount of money. There's 1.4 million in the bank. What a way to close off the series. Wouldn't you agree? No? Maybe not? I, th I think it's quite good. We managed to get everything done that we wanted to get done and we got to see this expansion uh and i think in closing it's not bad it, it, it's not amazing but it's not bad either i mean if you like uh sim city if you like city building and you have the patience uh to wait for all of these updates to roll out and uh sort of fix things along the way i know offline mode uh is coming fairly soon there's going to be mod support fairly soon as well which will probably make things a little bit more exciting. Who knows? Maybe mod tools will get rid of some of these restrictive uh, city sizes, but then open up even more problems because the traffic and stuff maybe isn't quite working or whatever. But it seems to be a work in progress, and it doesn't seem like they're stopping uh, fixing it, which can only be a good thing, I guess. Um, so there you go. Well, I thank you. I thank you very much uh, for bearing with me uh, and watching this entire series. I know it's been a really long one. Uh, if you don't like SimCity and you haven't been following, I hope that um, you can share everybody's joy at Sipsopolis uh, finally becoming the city it was destined to be with the help of Nutbush City uh, in the backdrop uh, after, what, like 38 episodes. Uh, in this series. Still not as much as the first SimCity series though. That was like 50 something odd episodes. Well, which was pretty nuts actually. A long long time to be playing the same game. Uh, so there you go. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, stay tuned. There's all sorts of new stuff going on on my channel. Uh, there, there will be uh, playthroughs of uh, shorter stuff in future. And if I do pick up anything else like SimCity or whatever, um, they'll probably follow a similar format to this episode where they'll be more edited. There'll be a lot of uh, some, sort of the boring stuff cut out try to make a little bit more progress per episode and stuff like that uh, and it should be good so uh, I will leave you there then thank you again and I will see you soon